Hello everybody, welcome to Getting Ready for 5th Grade Math Like a Boss. I'm Ms. McCarthy and I am your teacher for this 8 week course. We're on week 7, it's day 31 and we will be simplifying fractions today. So, let's get right to it, to our boss notes and let me teach ya. Boss notes! Alright, so... To simplify fractions, our first step is that we need to find the factors of both the numerator and the denominator. All right. We will then circle the greatest common factor that both the numerator and the denominator share. This is also known as the GC. So I might refer to it in this lesson as the greatest common factor or the GCF for short. We're going to divide both the numerator and the denominator by the GCF. All right, let's put those notes to work right now with problem number one. Learn it section. All right, here's where I teach you how to reduce this fraction or simplify fraction to its simplest or lowest terms. We have 10 fortieths. We're going to reduce that. Now I'm going to show you two ways for this particular fraction to do it. And let's do the first way now. And that would be using our boss notes, which would be finding the factors of 10 and the factors of 40. And I like doing that by doing a factor rainbow for them. So 1 times 10 is 10, 2 times 5 is 10, and nothing else in between. 3, nothing, 4 is not a factor of 10. All right, for 40, we've got 1 and 40. Because this one is such a big number, I'm going to go ahead and make this just a little bit bigger. All right, so we've got 1, we've got 40. 2 and times 20. 3, no, 4 times 10, and 5 times 8. Okay, so now we got to find the greatest common factor. The factor down here that is the greatest number that they have in common, which would be 10, 10, okay? So now we have our GCF. We can go ahead and label these as our GCF, our greatest Common factor. Sorry, it's a little low. Greatest common factor. Okay, now what we're going to do is divide these two fractions by the greatest common factor. So divide this by 10 and divide the 40 by 10. 10 divided by 10 is 1 and 40 divided by 10 is 4. So to reduce this to our simplest or lowest terms, we have 1 fourth. Okay, um, now you'll get better at this as you go along. The more that you practice, the faster that you're going to get, and pretty soon you'll be like me where you don't even have to do your factor rainbows. You just know right away which are the two factors that you have in common. But you've got to be fluent with your multiplication tables to make that happen, okay? Now I said in the beginning, before I started this problem, that I would do it two ways. This was the first way to do our factors. And then the other way, because these are multiples of 10 and they end in a zero, you could actually just cancel out the zero, and you would get one-fourth. You can't do that all the time, but if you have zeros on the end, you can just cross them out. Okay, number two. All right, we are on number two for the Learn It section. Okay, so we have 18 27ths. We're going to do it our factor rainbow way, and here you see these do not end in zero, so I can't just cancel out any zeros. So i got to do it the old-fashioned way. All right. So we have 18 and 27, I need to find the factors of both. So 1 times 18, 2 times 9, 3 times 6, 4 no, 5 no, and that's, those are the only two numbers in between. So those are our factors of 18. If 
factors of 27. 1 and 27, the easy ones. 2, no. 3, yes. 3 times 9 is 27. Um, 4, no. 5, no. 6, no. 7, no. 8, no. So those are our factors of the two numbers. And what is the one that they have in common that is the greatest? 9. Now we found our G, C, F. Our G, C, F is 9. So we're going to divide the numerator by 9. And we're going to divide our denominator by 9. 18 divided by 9 is 2. 27 divided by 9 is 3. So our simple lowest terms, our reduced fraction is 2 thirds. Number three, we're at the practice it section. So here's the deal. Maybe you want to try this on your own and see if you can solve it on your own. If you do, press pause and then come on back after you're finished to see if you got it right. If you're not quite sure if you're ready to leave yet and do it all on your own, stick with me and help me solve this one. So either way, make your choice. This is for three, four, and five. You can do that. So here's number three. Okay, so we need to simplify it. So first step is to find the factors of eight and 12 of our numerator and denominator. One times what? Eight, okay. Two times four, good. And three times nothing. Three times nothing will get you eight. Okay, so those are our factors. Now we do 12. We'd have 1 and 12. Is 2 a factor of 12? Yes, because 2 times 6 is a factor of 12. What about 3? 3 times 4. Good. 3 times 4. And there's nothing in between 3 and 4, so we are finished finding our factors. Now, which one is the greatest one that they have in common? The four so are our GCF, our greatest common factor. Now what do we do with those fours? Excellent. We divide our numerator and our denominator, both of them by four. We're just reducing it. So eight divided by four is two. Twelve divided by four is three. Our reduced or simplest form of this fraction would be two thirds. 16 twenty fourths, let's reduce it. So we find the factors of 16 and the factors of 24. The first set would be one and 16. What about one, so two? Two and eight. What about three? Three, nope. Four, yes. Four and four. There's nothing in between four and four. So we're finished with that one. Now one and 24. Two times what is 24? 12. Three, three times eight. Four times six. Five times five is 25. That's not 24. So what is the number, excuse me, <coughs> what's the largest or greatest common factor that they have? Eight and eight. Divide our numerator by eight. Divide our denominator by eight. 16 divided by eight is two. And 24 divided by 8 is 3. We have 2 thirds again as our answer. One more. Final one. We're on number 5. We've got 40 over 48. 40, 48. Let's find our greatest common factors by finding all the factors of these numbers. So for 40, we have 1 and 40. 2. 2 times 20. 3, nope, 3 times 12 is 36, 3 times 13 is 39, no, 
four, yeah, four times 10. Five, five times eight, six times six is 36, six times seven is 42, so no. And seven, seven times five is 35, and seven times six is 42, so no, it does not land on 40. Those are our factors of 40, ladies and gentlemen. Let's try 48. I think there's a lot here, so I'm gonna make it kind of big. We have one and 48. We have two and 24. Three, if you're not sure, watch this. Three, does three go into 48? Three goes into four one time, subtract, bring down. Three goes into 18, 16 times, that's 18. Zero, yes, so three and 16. Four times 12. Five, no. Six, yes, six and eight. And seven, no. So what is our greatest common factor? I think it's eight. Let me just make sure. Yep, so eight. Eight, divide our numerator by eight, divide our denominator by eight, which will reduce it to five sixths. All right, B message. Aww. Today's B message is to be adaptable like a boss. This means that you are able to change according to your surroundings and use the resources around you to help you. If something doesn't go your way, try to be flexible about it. Try to compromise with the people involved and also try to remain open-minded. So be adaptable like a boss. Get ready. Get